Everybody. Happy Pride! Who here knows what gay pride means? It means where like all the gay people, transgender, lesbian, bisexual people gather up and celebrate. That's absolutely right. It's a celebration of sexual diversity. So I'm not gay, but I'm a gay ally. Are you gay allies? Definitely. Great answer. We all need this confidence in life. I'm introducing a new gender alignment called gender apathetic. I don't care how you perceive me. I don't care how you refer to me. Pronouns, anything goes. I exist out of spite and to make cis people upset when they look me up and down and go, you'll never be a real boy. And I'll go, yeah, I know, cause I'm a girl. I feel like it's common decency to respect people's pronouns. The process of figuring out my gender has made me more comfortable with myself. You should be able to identify the way you identify because nobody else should be able to control the way that you are. I've always understood the value of loving myself. I need people to accept me on my own terms, no matter what label I'm rocking up to the party with. Don't settle for anything less than what you deserve and just keep fighting. So because I teach pre-K, there's always two teachers in the classroom. A few years ago, my co-teacher was sick, so I had a substitute. Now the sub I had was notorious for being super conservative and super religious. Needless to say, I made sure I was on my best behavior that day. We hit it off. We worked really well together, we were having fun. The kids go to lunch and we decide to have lunch in my classroom. So it's just her and I chit-chatting, and I look down at her phone, and I see her phone case. The phone case is a picture of a man. He's shirtless, he's buff, and he's wet, beads of water just sticking onto his nice tan skin. And he's these like gorgeous long wet hair. So I'm like, maybe sis isn't as conservative as I thought. She has like this model on her phone case. So I was like, oh my God, who is that? He's a total zaddy, what a babe. She grabs her phone, clutches it to her chest and was like, this is Jesus, Jesus Christ. And then she put it into her purse. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I had no idea Jesus was so hot. No, no, no. I am not the problem, I am the solution. You are the problem. I went to college. I went to college, you hear me? Do not mess with me, I am warning you. Good night, Vicky. I love you. Good night, Vicky.
So I was being bad earlier and you had to spank me. How'd I get chlamydia? Huh? How'd I get chlamydia if nobody wants to fuck? It's cold, and I don't feel like cuddling. So can I remove your organs and sleep inside you instead? <laughs> Now, I had a lot of confused people in these comments, which is the goal. Nothing that I do is ever supposed to make sense. However, let me explain this. So I go to a gender therapy specialist. She's fucking great. And she's deep into academic Twitter. So she found this person's dissertation where they argued that being cis and straight is a trauma response, which at first is just like, what do you mean? That doesn't make any fucking sense. But if we think about the heteronormativity that is our society and how in so many parts of our country, especially like it is so, so, so not okay to be trans or to be gay, people aren't allowed to express or explore that side of their identity. So they just kind of conform to society and don't even think about it. Like if you, like gender and sexuality is such a broad spectrum to only exist on one extreme of it doesn't make any sense. Especially if you're both extremes, you know? Like it could happen, but mm. They them pronouns are confusing, man. Not a man. They just don't make sense. What game is it you're playing? Call of Duty. I see, and this makes sense to you. Whoa, I got knocked out by that AK. Least cranz dude, drop an Amax when I respawn. I'll shoot one out of the gulag. That's the last time I try a 360 no scope with an AR. What am I, a noob? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Fellow transgenders, I just came up with a new word. Feel free to use it. The word is misender. Misendering is when somebody uses a gendered term that isn't technically correct for you, doesn't technically fit. But you're not rushing to correct it, you know? A stranger calls me sir. I got Miss Eddard. I'm not a guy, but I don't mind being called sir. A Disney cast member called me princess. I'm not a girl, but you know, I'm pretty as a princess. I got Miss Eddard. A cis person calls me agender. Let's well, not correct, I have a bunch of them, but... You're on the right track, it's in the umbrella. I'll give you that point. I got Miss Andered. Hope it helps.